Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday, major update Friday, version 1.8.0, the oil disaster, major update Friday. And also Stormworks is on sale for 35% off because they need an influx of cash for building the next game. So if you don't have the game, you might consider buying it now because it is on sale. Cool. All right. So let's go through this really quick. Uh, this is one of the things where some people might like it. Some people might hate it. Some people don't care. Um, I was kind of excited, but I don't know if I still am. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's not be negative already. The new oil spill system leaves a thick layer of oil on the surface. So far, I haven't gotten it to do that. The system is linked onto Stormworks fluid system. So any oil that leaks from a vehicle will pollute the environment. And to clean up, the ocean must be pumped and filter using the new water separators. Oils slicks will spread in the ocean currents over time as well as slowly diffuse outwards towards the ocean. Okay. Um, it has new oil disaster emissions. Uh, if not repaired quickly, damaged oil pipelines or ships can begin to leak, spilling huge quantities of oil into the ocean, creating huge environmental cleanup tasks. But does it? I don't know. We need to check. I wonder if I can just, like, make it do it. But anyways... The oil pollution runs on its own mission system, similar to the forest fire system. Any oil spills will create new pollution cleanup task. Um, oil drilling updates. We have added a new pivot type pipe connector that is small to make handling pipes much easier in many situations and fixes. Uh, Lua support. They have added they've added Lua to interact with the new oil system. Stormworks and DLCs are also on discount to celebrate the launch of the new major update. Okay, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. So looking at the patch notes, uh, feature ocean oil spills preset oil rig example okay that was something that needed to be done so that's good centrifugal separator a new small oil rod and connector oil strike effect i'm guessing when you hit oil maybe there's oil sprouts up or something i don't know uh feature oil spill default missions rework reduce playable area to 256 kilometers by 250 so that the play area is smaller. I like. I didn't really ever venture out to the edge of the map. Do you hit like a invisible wall? I thought it just kept going into like nothingness. But I don't know. I haven't tested. But it says that it's smaller. Wonder why they did that. Would that be to help with lag? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, removed length limit on drill rod segments. Okay. Improved anti cheat support. I don't know. Some people say it's broken. Sometimes they say they get attacked by fish, even when they're playing vanilla. I don't know if it's true or false, but that's the rumor. Uh, pump jack multiplayer sync. Reduced oil drilling effects, sound effects radius. Okay. Lua added oil spill callback. Uh, added get oil spill and set oil spill. Added new capability equals oil tag to support the default mission scripts. Okay. And there's a bunch of people in the discussion. We're not going to read that. They're just mad. So that's whatever. Okay. Let's go <laughs> to the game real quick. All right. So I was messing around. Hold on. Where'd that oil go? Okay. Here is some oil. Okay. That's what it looks like. Kind of a little small version. And if we look. So I, I did this. Look, I, I've got some oil in there and I blew these things up. And... Oil appears usually off to the left or right in a small puddle. So, like, it's really, really slow. Like, I thought it would spill out as soon as it starts getting hit with those, like, big bumps. But maybe I didn't have enough. And then I thought, okay, well, maybe the problem is, that's a submarine that you hear. Maybe the problem is, is that I'm spawning it with a spawner and it doesn't like that. So then I spawned it in one of these and I transferred it to this one and I blew it up. And... I haven't seen any oil. So we're going to try again. And the reason I care about this, of course, is because you see I have the submarine out. I thought that in general, a vehicle would contain amount of oil by default. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it's not a physical space of oil, but any vehicle that spawns would have oil. And if it got hurt, it would spill that oil. Like, you know, because we don't actually have like engine oil running our engine and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, that's dumb. Why they wouldn't do that? So you have to have a quantity of oil on the ship. So I thought, okay, 
Well, if we spawn oil, let's say we have an oil tank in the submarine to simulate how much oil they had or whatever, or on a ship that's missing. And then when it gets hit underwater by a death charge, because we're, t you know, for me, I'm talking about the convoy add-on. I'm not talking about the oil industry add-on. Don't care, have no interest in it at all. So if you do, I apologize. Uh, you might want to go check out like 454's channel because he really enjoys it and he'll probably have more information on that kind of oil spill. But for me, I just want to see if I can get my submarines to spill oil when they're hit or, you know, a tanker that we have spawned in, you know, not one that I had to go fill up. But anyways, let's go, mm, let's go, mm, let's go to the workbench really quick. So here is the oil spawner. And I checked to make sure it was spawning oil, just in case you're wondering, it does spawn oil. Let's just fill this whole thing up, the whole ship. It's gonna sink, but we don't care. We just want oil all inside this body here, okay? And let's just, uh, I don't know. Let's just blow some holes. Let's just blow a hole inside too. There we go. That's just seems wrong to do it to this poor ship, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blow holes, even though these will probably blow up anyways because they're close to each other, but whatever. We're just gonna do it. They blow up. So these are big, right? And I've tried small ones too, in case, you know, like, oh, I'll do small ones and maybe it won't blow up the oil if that's what it's doing. So real quick, let's just check this. I don't see any oil and there's no oil from these guys. Okay, let's just make a mission. And three, two, one. Aha! Boom goes the dynamite. Okay. Now it's underwater. It's hurt. It got blowed up. Real good. So you would assume that all of this wall is leaking oil. We go inside. Yeah, all of this is destroyed. Okay. Where is my oil? Slick. Okay. There it is. Way over there, it looks like. Okay, there's the boat. Oh, there's oil over there. Okay, wait, there's oil everywhere. Okay, there's oil there. Oil there. And that one vanished. See, I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting this. It's gone again. I filled that whole ship with oil. And it just kind of doesn't work. Now, maybe it doesn't work for spawned oil properly maybe i don't know i don't know but my excitement has dropped on the possibility of you know a submarine being attacked and then an oil spill on top so that the destroyers know hey i've been hit i don't know i guess i could sit here and you'll see like a little bit of oil come back up again but that's with a whole ship full of oil a whole ship so like if I were to put, and I'm not even going to try it because it's not worth the time, but if I were to put a oil tank on the sub, let the destroyers run over it, attack it, and let's say it hit that oil tank, I don't think it would ever show a spot of oil. And if it did, it might be like for a second, because look, there's no oil. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm expecting it to do something that it's not supposed to do, or it's not doing something that it's supposed to do, but it doesn't work because it's spawned oil instead of like a tanker going to pick up oil and taking it. So I wonder if we can check out like an, a mission. Let's let's do that. Okay, let's check this out. I don't think this is a oil mission. Maybe I should have turned off the default mission zones or something. Let's just check real quick. Well, it's on fire. Hey, look, a bed. We'll just keep sleeping until we get something that says oil problem. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Old tanker. Give me some oil. Okay, look. There's oil over here. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's not what I expected. Yeah, that's that's a safe thing to say. It's not what I expected. I expected. I didn't think that they would make it super realistic so that the oil would come out slowly. I thought, like, for the sake of not realism. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 
the oil would come out of the ship as soon as it was damaged rather quickly and it would be next to the ship and it would kind of hover around the ship even if it didn't spread out you know as it's supposed to do I, I don't know why it's all over the place here but even if it didn't spread out like all over the place just to have the oil on top of the location below if the ship is below the water it would be on top you know in the area but this is not what I expect it's not what I expected yep again there's the oil over there like I don't know I didn't expect that and there's like no water you know no wind or anything on so with that I really expected the oil to accumulate right next to the ship but it's not even it's not even appearing next to the ship and then moving away it just spawns far away I don't know about like, I'm thinking about the submarines again. Sorry, I apologize. That's my my whole thing, so. But I don't see this, you know, like, how, oh, would you have to script it? Maybe that's the key. You just script it. You just say, put a blob of oil here when a ship is hurt or a submarine. Did it get bigger? Okay. So there you go. That's, that's pretty good. It's not what I expected, though. Is this what you expected? Let me know in the comments below, because I don't know. Ugh, let's see. Hold on. Now, I'm curious. One second. Here's a picture. And the oil is coming off the ship. See that? Like, that's what I expected. I don't have any more pictures, but that's kind of what I expected. I, expect, I was hoping. I wasn't expecting this, but I was hoping for a fire on the oil. Again, all of the oil is kind of around the ships. Now, there's some. See that? It's all kind of flowing outwards and there's like, you know, the boat's trying to wrangle the oil. Wrangle the oil. Is that real? Oh, it's from Getty. Wow, okay. Look at that. See? Look at the oil. It's all next to the ship. That's what I expected. Oh, see? I'm not crazy. It does come from the ship. So yeah, so if we go back to Stormworks, well, that looks better, I guess. And I don't know, like when I tested, I did not get this amount of oil spawning. So is this a mission thing only? Like there's no damage. Wait, that's the pointer. There's no damage on the ship. So they're just spawning oil, I'm assuming, with the Lua. Which means that I guess you could do that with the submarines in the add-on. But as far as like dynamic uh, oil, I don't think that they did that. Yeah, see, I think this is spawned oil, which looks cool. This looks better. Doesn't look like it came from that ship, but it looks better. Anyways, there's a few more parts. Uh, I'll just show them to you real quick because whatever. All right, so your new parts here are your separator. Uh, it looks like it has a fluid in, a fluid out, and a dense fluid out. Provide torque to begin spinning. The separator fluid output ports will separate with increased effectiveness based on the spin speed. So you spin it really fast after you bring in your oily water, I guess. Uh, and then it will output the water and output the oil. You've got fluid out. Dense fluid, that'd be the oil out. This would be your power in. And then where's the water, dirty water? Fluid in, so this would be your in. So there you go. And then it has the cap, I think. I'll just stick it on here, because I can. If I can. Can I? Is it? <laughs> is it just me? Or does it look like a, a warhead? A warhead that doesn't explode. That might be useful for a prop, huh? Yeah, so anyways, what does this thing do? A clamp for moving drill rods. Oh, okay. So clamp rod on and off, rod clamp on and off. No. That's for moving the rods. I'm sure 454 will be using these parts and showing you how to set them up and probably updating his own oil rigs and stuff like that. So you might want to go check him out. But yeah, these are the parts. So there you go. All right. So this is a major update. Uh, as you can see, it's mainly, I think, my opinion, it's based around the mission spawning oil slicks and not so much your personal boats it looks like the personal boats if you have oil it spawns some 
oil leaks, but I think this is scripted to, you know, be more dramatic and have, you know, oil all around. So anyways, we'll find out in the coming weeks as people play with it. But uh, for now, uh, I'm gonna have to go check to see what can be done in the add-on. So maybe that's how we do oil slicks for, you know, damaged or blown up submarines, I guess. All right, I'll see you next time, guys.